I want to show you how you can make six and seven figures by selling your services on Fiverr and especially this video is an updated video because Fiverr has went over some changes and rebranding over the summer which is a Fiverr Pro which is a completely different has been transformed from what they used before that they used to do and as me as a seller on Fiverr I've been a seller on Fiverr for since 2016 and I've been able to reach seven figure milestone I'm on the track to actually to reach two million dollars on the platform which is an incredible milestone uh, i am hoping to reach it by uh, probably most likely next year somewhere but my journey has been incredible and i'm super thankful how things have been progressing for myself and i want to show you just an updated things on what you can do as a marketer if you've been thinking i should start an smma or i should become a fiverr seller or maybe fiverr has not been bringing me much traffic it's going to be everywhere the same no matter what you choose if you're going to go and sell on your own sending a bunch of different emails every single day try to get people on the calls or if you're going to be even starting your fiverr in the beginning it's going to be very frustrating you're not going to get orders you're not going to get as much messages uh, you might get some spam messages right so it's a very um, you know this sort of game is different and it's not as we usually look at those uh, experts gurus when uh, certain people promise you some certain success uh, and then when you start to actually take action it's not as they will usually say right so I would like to record this video and go over the latest trends if you are in the social media market niche in the digital market niche what you can do and how you can put yourself on the track to be at six and seven figures before we jump there I want to show you how my sort of income has been going for this year this is an updated version of the video I haven't really recorded an income videos before for this year uh, to be honest so so far, uh, this year has been, uh, I would say, a different year compared to other years because uh, if you know me, if you've been following me, uh, my biggest highlights on Fiverr, it started in 2017 when I started to make 30, 20, 30K per month. 2018 has been a, a year where I was able to consistently be at 50K plus and then 2019, we've been able to also hit 60K plus and then things have started to go down really bad right so 2020 i actually took a break from fiverr uh, as you can see i had no sales pretty much just one sale here right and another one here and then 2021 i decided to be back i decided to put myself back on track because I'm seeing Fiverr as a great opportunity to build your brand, to build your personal brand, to connect with buyers. And the same, at, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that Fiverr, you should only uh, have Fiverr and that's it. You can have other source of incomes. So you can have yourself on Upwork, you can have yourself on other freelancing platforms, or you can also do it on your own. I find it more exciting to be on a Fiverr because you can build your brand and eventually what's happening these days, I'm getting 10, 20, even more messages every single day from potential buyers because I build my reputation, I have my reviews, I have my portfolio, so I'm more likely to get ranked higher on the platform. So 2021, I'm back on track, but my month has been you know, just below 20K. Uh, 2022 has been another year where things have shifted, things have changed a lot. So I've been actually under 10K uh, for the rest of the last of the 20. 22 thankfully i do have other source of income so of course i'm not always dependent on that source of income but of course fiverr especially now when we're looking at 2023 where i'm able to reach back at 20k and for the last few months i've been consistent at 20k plus mark so you never know especially with social media marketing but i'm also doing my best to differentiate because especially when you offer a service on fiverr right if you're only dependent on one service for example in my case it's an instagram growth service if you go to my profile you can see i have two services where i'm working on their instagram accounts and then the other services are related to the content creation content management so i try to differentiate with two areas because it's very risky to be always reliant on one sort of service especially if the service something happens to the service things doesn't go as well that's gonna be a big problem okay so one of the main things that uh, when you go for example now let's take a look let's open the incognito window so we can just see exactly what is happening so first of all Fiverr has launched the Fiverr Pro right Fiverr Pro they have decided to completely change the way that 
you know, the marketplace is performing, they're trying to attract bigger businesses, corporations, mid-sized businesses to spend money on Fiverr to find those freelancers. This is their goal, primarily goal right now, in my opinion. And that's what we can see as well. So before it used to be Fiverr business and then now it's a Fiverr Pro, right? So what it means that if you are basically right before you could apply as a Fiverr Pro as a seller and you can get into the Fiverr Pro catalog, right? You have your services. Right now they actually started to grant Fiverr Pro badges automatically to sellers who perform really well. But the most important thing that your services have to be at least $100 or more priced, right? So if they're priced $100 or more, you will be able to qualify for the Fiverr Pro. If they're priced less, it's gonna be extremely challenging, pretty much impossible to become a Fiverr Pro because they wanna spend you want to bring more businesses they want to also increase the spend as well uh, per order they want to try to bring more recurring as well uh, services right so that the businesses will spend every single month and that's how you need to be adapting right so if you started for example with five dollars on fiverr it's not going to work at the moment right so right now you need to really structure a service where we can build more a recurring service where clients could be paying you monthly and then they can be receiving the service so here for example uh, if we go to this digital marketing social media marketing that's one of the great things that uh, I'm currently at the top of the search right if I go to the full, full catalog I will also be here so of course all of this brings a lot of traffic and we can also go back here and I can show you what's happening with my traffic. So you can also get some ideas. Maybe some of this uh, data is gonna be also motivating you, maybe uh, not, maybe you know you will see something else. So right, so my biggest gig is the Instagram growth gig. And right now we, you can see here, it's always kind of like, you know, goes up up and down, right? Right now it's actually on the in, in the increase again, but for the last few days I was going down my impressions. But again, very important thing, when you're on Fiverr, you should not always only have one gig. If you have multiple gigs, it allows you to each gig to get ranked on the page, right? So some gigs might be ranking in this keyword, some gigs might be ranking in other keywords, right? That's why it is important, be careful, don't create the same exact service, this is, not really allowed, but even if you're offering the same service, you can also brand the packages a bit differently, right? You can have different, let's say, starting from gig image, some description, right? So you can differentiate things because when you're starting on Fiverr, it's gonna be more complicated to start because you're gonna have all these checks, your gig is not eligible, it's eligible, you need to edit this, this. When you're established, it's a bit easier because you already have reputation and Fiverr kind of like, you know, looks at you a bit differently, that you know what's happening, you know the platform, you're knowledgeable, things like that. So for established sellers, when you're established already, of course, it's great if you can open new gigs, differentiate, because if you only have one gig, you only limited for one gig to get ranked. The same goes with the Fiverr uh, promoted gigs. So actually, I haven't checked my promoted gigs for this month, but as you can see, it's not doing bad, right? So I'm, I'm getting uh, almost 4K, uh, sales and I spent just a little over 1k so it's it's a really good return in my opinion and as you can see here each of my gig is having a possibility to get promoted right so that's another powerful thing don't create let's say all the gigs you're allowed 20 30 gigs it's not probably the ideal but try to be kind of like more think about what is your service in my opinion in my case i do offer instagram growth so i have instagram growth gig then i offer content creation then i have content creation gig then i offer content creation plus posting which is management i have also gig for that and then i offer growth plus content right and that's another gig like that so that's why it's important to really differentiate because at the end of the day Fiverr game is not fast. Like you need to give yourself a few months, you need to give yourself a year at least to really kind of like build it up, reputation. And then when you're already established, that's where you're gonna start thinking creative, right? And I would like to talk about also the strategies, not in this video, but in the next videos, how you can grow as an established Fiverr seller because what I'm seeing right now, there are a lot of Fiverr sellers who are doing 10K, 20K, 30K, 40K, they're doing really well, but the problem is that they don't know how to scale, right? And they kind of like, they can't really do anything. So they're always in the same place. So they're depending on the search, they're depending on the ranking as well, right? So, and the performance of their gig. There are other ways how you can do this. Of course, social media is one way, right? YouTube is another way. Instagram is another way, right? So you have all these different 
ways how you can get your gig rank but also you have to think creative it's not only about social media because they say promote your gig on social media that's not always the case because you need to think about creative ways right now you have a lot of newsletters newsletter is a huge business model you can be making six seven figures it's really really big and there are a lot of really engaging newsletters which people love reading which have great audience and they are in different niches you can contact those newsletters and say like hey could you promote my service the great thing about Fiverr when you have reputation when you have reviews that's gonna make things I would say maybe more exciting for that newsletter owner to promote because he sees that there is reputation you're not just scam uh you know someone like who's trying to scam or your services scam right they can it's very transparent so that kind of like gives an advantage another way of also promoting is through ugc content you'll see a lot of ugc creators even on fiverr if we take a look here for example there's a lot of ugc uh, if we just put UGC keyword, you can see there's a lot of UGC creators, right? And you can be using one of them and they can create content promoting your Fiverr gigs. They can say like, hey, uh, if you're looking for instant growth, I wanna recommend uh, Josh, he's been doing this, blah, 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 right? So you can create a lot of things. And I'm actually looking myself into implementing those things, testing those things, so I'll be excited to, to share the results. But this is a great way to promote your gigs. You are being creative, you are being, uh, you know kind of like seeing how you can else promote and this is works extremely well these days right now you just see content is at the top okay so let's go back so we're still talking about the reaching to six seven figures right so if you're starting of course you need some time you need to structure your gigs if you're already established sellers you can go and look for those opportunities I see the biggest issues well with sellers that they're not trading Fiverr as they can be like, okay, I can be doing 50, 60K, right? Because if you're doing 50, 60K, I mean, that's a lot of money already for your agency. Like even if you do it directly, yes, I mean, it's great, right? You have full control, but still you need to be having those traffic sources. You need to be having marketing, uh, which, you know, brings you leads every single day. So that you need to still spend some amount of money and time to figure this out. And it's extremely competitive. It's much much more competitive than just trying to push your gigs on Fiverr because Fiverr is always having more and more traffic right you always have those buyers are coming and then I think Fiverr is trying I mean it's definitely gaining a better and better reputation not as a five dollar reputation as they had before so that's why it has a lot of demand I met incredible uh, buyers on Fiverr and you know their clients just awesome like I would not even think I'll be able to meet them uh, outside of Fiverr right I mean of course I can reach out to them directly and blah 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 but it's it's you know there is like tens of or 20 people at least reaching out uh, to them like every single day every single day like me myself I'm getting at least 15 20 emails someone is trying to promote me something right so that's why it's a very competitive space when you try to do email marketing when you try to do instagram dms and i think there is just incredible opportunity to grow within the platform right because the competition what i'm seeing even like for example here yes i mean you see the you see their their uh, videos and stuff but there is just still a lot of things how you can improve it that's why me myself i've been spending a lot of time on actually trying to build my brand, trying to build a reputation with the videos, with the reviews, with, uh, you know, just the gig images, everything in the right place. So to create some sort of a branding, that's why it's extremely important because that's gonna be driving you forward. That's gonna be attracting more buyers because they'll be respecting your work, respecting your professionalism, and that's gonna drive more sales for you as well. So my goals for the rest of the year for 2020, Three is of course continue to scale my journey on fire because I want to try to you know it's it's a motivation every single month it's a motivation to do better it's a motivation to you know let's say make more on the platform and complete more orders get more reviews right it's always sort of like a you know it's a competition pretty much uh, that's why it makes me also you know challenge and I'm excited to get more orders more reviews more happy clients right so that's my still kind of like the focus for the rest of the 2023 uh, at the same time of course 
you know you can do other things you can grow your agency directly which i have some clients who are working directly that's been long-term clients but what i learned is that it's extremely hard to balance things of course right so you cannot if you're running your agency on fiverr with let's say 10k plus you really don't have much time to do other things or you need to be outsourcing and really building a good systems where you have your team members ma ma managing your inbox the order messages the fulfilling right so it makes it very very uh, also challenging as well reaching se seven figures is definitely possible you have cases now you have more people now talking about how they're making a lot of money on fiverr right in my case if you are looking in the social media marketing space that's probably the hottest space to make six and seven figures you have also website development you have other things right other categories which are extremely popular as well but being in the digital marketing space it makes it very very uh, possible to reach those milestones and as you can see there is a lot of that's why fiverr is great because you can just go here and look at what people are offering and when i look at even at the first page i'm like you know I'm sure like, for example, let's say Joseph here, right? He's been doing really well. Like he's been building a good brand. You know, you can see him as a person talking, speaking. Of course, when you see like a gig like this, you know, it makes you a bit confused. Like what is that? Like WeChat, okay, they're gonna help with the WeChat, but you know, or this one, for example, right? Yes, I understand there are a lot of sellers who are from different countries. Some of them are not comfortable showing themselves on camera, speaking. It's a very, it's a huge barrier, right? So. I totally understand and of course there's a huge respect that they're already putting themselves out there but still as if you see that for example here okay even this video right it's an animation so you don't really see a person you don't really see just see the you know the result so there is so much opportunity there if you become more personalized if you become professional right if you showcase yourself like for example here right Kelly she's doing a great job I mean she's showing herself she's describing her gig that's great that's this is what it needs to be right but when you have a pictures like this you know I feel that this seller is missing a lot of potential leads potential um, buyers because of this picture because it doesn't really give much of the information what's happening is as you can see Fiverr they started to implement this sort of a preview so before you click on the video you can sh you can see what the video is about this is very important right so and for example having things like that where is animation things I think you're just missing clicks you're just missing opportunities so uh, this is very very important to understand this is important to treat this as a job you know it's gonna be it could be as imagine adding 5k per month 10k per month 20k per month right I mean it's a lot of money not it's already like if you're at 20k you know it's, it's it's there's not a lot of people who are making that yes there is still in the online space there is a lot of potential to do that but it's still you know if you look at the normal day job right you finish your uh, school you go to the uh, you know you, you finish university you go to find a job right you're not going to be ma making that much money right even if you live in the countries like in Europe in the US right okay you can still get a good salary but imagine making let's say five to eight k and you have to be you can be anywhere in the world versus that you have obligation to come to the office every single day you have reports you have people manage you you know things like that so that's why i think this is still an incredible opportunity uh and because being on the platform teaches you many things right you know how to deal with certain clients you build some sort of uh you know i don't know resistance and uh, just you're getting more and more practice and you're getting different cases and you become much more prepared to go out there and do other things go for high ticket go for other things but I think there's just crazy opportunity that being on the platform right now I've seen over the last few years not much things have changed over the the actual people sellers like it's still pretty much the same as it was a few years back yes there's a lot of people who are making more money now on Fiverr but it's somewhat the competition yes and if you look at here for example you have 100,000 services available it's a lot of services right but still I think if you structure your service properly your gig you can be in the first page within three to four months and you can be starting getting a lot of a lot of traffic and the other thing it's what you're doing with this traffic the message comes how you reply how you convert this to the potential buyer as well so guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video I actually shared a free course so if you go to the freelancehustle.com if you sign up for 
my newsletter, which I'm planning to start pushing a lot more with sharing some sort of uh, weekly updates and how I'm doing with my Fiverr journey, how it's been going for me. You can go and click on the become a top Fiverr uh, 1%, um, become a top 1% Fiverr seller, and you can actually enjoy my course, which used to be a paid course, and I decided to give it away for free. I do believe a lot of people can be benefiting from that and you know becoming more successful as a marketer, as a freelancer on Fiverr, uh, off Fiverr, on other platforms. But I think this course is gonna be really, really helpful for you to learn some things and to really kickstart your journey. Or if you're already existing seller, you can be benefiting from that as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.